officers with the Community Image Department maintain seven mosquito traps dispersed throughout Edmond. We put water in them and then we'll put some type of material like hay or straw, something that will decompose. And what happens is that lures the female mosquitoes in to lay their eggs in the water. Then there's a fan with a motor on it that's battery operated. And what that does is it draws the mosquito in and then contains them in a net. Usually, hundreds of mosquitoes are caught each week. They are then sent to a lab at the Oklahoma City County Health Department to be tested for mosquito-borne illnesses, especially the West Nile virus. Basically, we pick up the nets from the traps that the city has, we throw them in the freezer overnight, and then we take those out, sort them by species and by male and female. We only test the females because the females are the only ones that will bite you because they're trying to get blood to produce eggs. Once we get those, we put them in these test tubes and we beat, beat them into like a mush and we test them with a strip that's a colorimetry test and it tells you whether or not there's West Nile virus present within those mosquitoes. West Nile virus is relatively new to the United States. Cases originated in Africa, West Asia, the Middle East, and Eastern Europe. It was first documented in the United States in 1999 along the East Coast. In just five years, the virus spread from the Atlantic to the Pacific and now has been reported in every state except Alaska. During 2017, there were seven infections documented in Oklahoma. 80% of people that, that actually are bitten and get West Nile virus will never know it because they just don't have any symptoms. But of that other 20%, there's some very severe things like you could be in a coma or or have some uh, other very serious issues up to and including death. West Nile symptoms are similar to the flu. They include fever, headache, body ache, and sometimes a rash. Those who are most vulnerable are infants, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems. When a trap site continually has mosquitoes test positive for West Nile, the Oklahoma City County Health Department and Edmonds Community Image Department conduct a site survey around the area of the trap. They'll do that to try to identify uh, where the potential problem is coming from and then come up with a remediation plan to correct the problem. We usually start with habitat assessment, looking around to see if we can fix uh, habitat to cut down on the number of larvae. And then if we need to, we will also apply larvicide. Larvicide is very safe. It's the best way to contain mosquitoes because if you can kill a thousand larvae in the size of a bucket, well, if you have to try to catch them when they're adults, it's much harder. So we are, we are very active on the larva siding program here. There are several things you can do to protect yourself from actual mosquito bites. First, use insect repellents containing DEET, especially during dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most active. Be sure to follow the application instructions and reapply if necessary. Long sleeve shirts and pants add an extra layer of protection as well. Check screens on windows and doors to keep mosquitoes out of your home. Another effective way to prevent the spread of West Nile is to eliminate mosquito breeding sites. One of the primary things is to uh, drain any standing water that you may have around your house, be that a, a bird bath, a, a dog dish. As long as you're keeping the water fresh, it's not really a problem. But if you have any containers that are holding water and that water becomes stagnant, that's an attractive breeding area for those mosquitoes. For standing water that cannot be drained, treat it with larvicides. They are available at most hardware or home improvement stores. Larvicides kill mosquito larvae before they can become pesky adults. Larvicides are also safe for other animals, like birds. Old tires make great breeding sites for mosquitoes. Get rid of unused tires or make sure they are located in an area where they do not collect water. Drill holes into tire swings to drain water. Keep children's wading pools empty and on their sides when they are not being used. Finally, you want to stay aware of the risks of West Nile in your area. The, the best thing we can do for the public is to make sure that they understand what's going on, that they're not scared, but they're prepared to take care of what needs to be taken care of. On the Oklahoma City County Health Department website, there is the Skeeter Meter, an easy to understand visual about the local risk of West Nile. Basically, if you see it in the green, you probably don't have much to worry about. Getting in the yellow, pretty normal, but when it starts getting onto the other side of normal and starting to get high, you might want to be concerned. 
because that means we either have a lot of human cases or we have a lot of mosquitoes that are testing positive for West Nile. For more information about mosquitoes, diseases, and prevention, visit the Oklahoma City County Health Department website, occhd.org. If you're concerned about an area in Edmond that could be a breeding ground for mosquitoes, please report it to the Community Image Department at 359-4793 or call the Health Department at 427-8651.